Yes, Jack McMean. So the third grant we received was the Chesapeake Bay Restoration Fund, also known as the License Plate Fund. In 2018, we applied for this grant and we won the grant and we received funds to sit down for plants to be planted in the riparian zone along the water, water of Goose Creek. Uh, in doing this, we realized, gee, we should team up with, with groups. And this started our relationship with Harper Park School. They sent their students over here along with Heritage High School National Honor Society and they planted these in November of 2018. We planted over 200, 185 are still alive, and we've amended it with other plants such as um, goldenwort and bluebells, and we have uh, uh, pawpaw trees growing wild in, in the midst. So that's kind of our uh, planting here, and uh, Harrison will talk some more later on, Harrison Craycraft, about uh, the community involvement. So after we won the grant in 2018, we said, oh, we're going to apply in 2019. We submitted our application as an HOA again, and they came back and said, yes, you're a nonprofit, but you're not a 501c3. So what did we do? Well, we talked to the local grade school who had teamed to help us build, plant the plants the first time, and had them submit the application for the planting. And they submitted the application and won the grant for 2020, they're one of two schools in Northern Virginia out of 400 that won a grant from the Chesapeake Bay License Plate Group. And they plan to do the planting. We're trying to do it this fall, but due to the pandemic, it'll probably be next spring. And that is a Heritage High School? No, that'd be a Harper Park Harper Middle Park. School. There, there it is, yeah. So as part of the Bioswell project, we put in a berm. How do we get the berm? Susan Abraham, when she built the bioswell, took the sod that rolled up and laid it along here. And then with time, we had the golf course who had plugged their golf course, take their debris and dump it on top of it. And we planted on it. And this is a berm about a foot and a half high that runs along here to slow the erosion of the shoreline going into, the, into Goose Creek. And you can see, that, see how steep it is and how it breaks off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is the best spot to see it. And you can see, see the tree limbs? 